Hello and welcome to Countdown to Power with me, Graham Price. The Tories aren't particularly smart as the last 14 years have shown, but they are devious, determined and desperate and they're going to do everything they can to stop you from voting. We know that they have no respect whatsoever for truth, decency or honesty and Jacob Rees-Mogg forgot where he was and accidentally admitted in an interview last year that the point of introducing voter ID was to suppress the votes of those they know will never vote Tory. He also admitted that it hadn't really worked at last year's local elections. Despite the Tories deliberately doing that absolute minimum amount of informing the public that they could legally get away with, enough centre and left-wing sources talked about it enough that it didn't make as huge a difference as the nasty party thought it would. Let's just have a little look at voter ID and voter fraud, or the lack thereof, and I'll let you know how you can get around needing to have official ID if, like me, you haven't got a passport or a driving licence at the moment. Right after this. Hey, sorry to interrupt, just a quick interjection. The best way to help the channel and beat the algorithms is to hit the like button, leave a comment when we're done and subscribe if you haven't already. If you really want to help the channel then hit the join button below or make a donation through PayPal or buy me a coffee. The links are in the description box. It's all very much appreciated indeed. Thank you. I don't think a lot of people realise just how corrupt and authoritarian the Conservative Party are, let alone how deliberately dishonest and deceptive. They rely on apathy, ignorance, populism and deceit to maintain their power. And until just a couple of years ago, it was working perfectly, helped in no small part by an utterly biased and subjugated media. It's always been the case that people expect politicians to be a bit loose with the truth, depending on what they're campaigning for. But the current government is a whole new level of dishonesty and arrogance. You only have to look at literally any interview Kemi Badenoch has done to see an example. She behaves as if she genuinely believes that journalists shouldn't have the right to challenge anything she says and is visibly offended by being asked any difficult questions. To introduce voting ID in the way they did, brought a whole new level of blatant disrespect for democracy and the people of this nation. That they've been allowed to get away with it is shocking in itself, but the way they've set it up and the reasons they've given for it really do show that they deeply believe that you are stupid. There's only one answer they can really give when asked why they've taken such a dramatic step. They claim it's to prevent voter fraud. But anybody who looks at their evidence for that claim with any level of critical thinking can see that it's absolute bollocks. The Electoral Commission keeps records of any alleged voter fraud and the subsequent investigation and outcome. Let's have a little look at the 2019 general election where 47 million people were registered to vote and there was a turnout of just under 70%. How many people you think we reported for voter fraud in that election? 5,000? 1,000? 164? And that's just allegations, not convictions. Of those 164, only four were actually taken any further. Of those four, two were given cautions. One was given a community sentence. Although that was for disorderly behaviour in the voting booth, not for voting fraud. And the remaining guy was acquitted after court proceedings were abandoned. Data gathered after the 2023 local election showed that 14,000 people were denied a vote because they failed to bring the correct ID. The Conservatives denied 14,000 people a vote on the premise that they desperately needed to stop less people than would fit in a decent sized car from maybe possibly committing some sort of possible voter fraud that would have had no, no effect whatsoever on the actual outcome of the election. It was also discovered that black, Asian people, disabled people and unemployed people were disproportionately affected. You know, the kind of people that have no reason to ever vote Tory because they've been getting treated like shit for a decade and blamed for everything wrong with society. What a surprise, eh? So what can you do about it? Well, not an awful lot really. Take one look at the list of accepted ID and you can immediately see what it's all about and it certainly is an election fraud. An older person's bus pass can be used as ID, 
But somebody who's in college or university, their bus pass can't be used as ID. In London, an Oyster card that's been issued to somebody who's over 60 years of age can be used as ID. But an Oyster card that's been issued to somebody under 60 years of age can't. I might be wrong, but I haven't seen a single journalist take a Tory MP to task about this. But anyway... Maybe the whole voter suppression thing is a subject for the video all of its own and I don't want this one to be too long. If you haven't got a passport or a driving licence or any of the other forms of accepted ID, it doesn't mean that you can't vote. What you need to do is get a voter authority certificate from your local council. They aren't allowed to charge you for it because that would mean that you're being charged to vote and they're not allowed to do that at the moment anyway. Give the Tories another term and they'll probably wangle it. All you actually need is a clear picture of yourself, the kind that you'd take for a passport. You can do it on your phone. You don't need to go and use one of those horrible little booths in a, in a chemist or in a supermarket or anything. And your national insurance number. If you don't know your national insurance number, you can still get voter ID, but it just makes it take a little bit longer. Your local council will have its own systems in place, but you can get started, if you want to, at the gov.uk site, which I've linked in the description box below. It doesn't take long, and you will need it for the May 2nd local elections. You'll be wanting to go along and at least try to reduce the amount of right-wing conservative nutters on your local council, aren't you? Small victories, eh? Thank you for watching if you've gotten this far. It always means a lot to me, and it does help if you watch the video to the end. I'm hoping to do a lot more videos like this one when the election campaign actually starts and if it means just a few people go out and vote that might not have done so otherwise then I'll consider that a success. Unless they're voting Tory of course. The best way to help the channel is to hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. If you do want to go a bit further then there's links to PayPal and Patreon and the Buy Me A Coffee page in the description box below or you can hit the join button for memberships. If you're struggling with any aspect whatsoever of getting your voter authority certificate, leave a comment or send me a message and I'll do my best to help you if I can. Just make sure, whatever you do, don't let the Tories steal your vote and deny your voice. Let's not let their underhanded tricks stand in the way of our countdown to power. What's that, Annie? You think I should make a video telling everybody how to get a voter authority certificate? I think you might be right there, love. Let's crack on with it.